In this video, we're going to take a look at using integration. Now, a couple of videos ago, we had a look at using differentiation. And the main idea behind that video was how we go from the displacement s to the velocity and to the acceleration. And what we established there is that if we differentiate s with respect to t, we get the velocity. And if we differentiate the velocity with respect to t, then we get the acceleration. So to go down here, we differentiate. So we differentiate here. Just make a note of that. Now, in that video, I also posed a question about how we go backwards. So if I have the acceleration, how do I get to the velocity? And the answer to that is if we go down by differentiating, the way we go back up then is to integrate. Okay, so we integrate. So what that means here is if I have the acceleration and I want the velocity, then the velocity here is equal to the integral of the acceleration a with respect to t. Okay. And the same is true for the displacement here. So if I want s, then that would be the integral of v with respect to t there. Okay. Now that's all we need for our introduction here. So let's use these properties now to solve problems using integration. Starting off with this question here then, what we've been given is a particle that's moving in a straight line. We're given that s is equal to zero when t is equal to zero. And what we want to do is find an expression for the displacement of the particle with this given velocity. So to begin with here, let's note s, v, and a. So what I've been given here is the velocity, v, and I want the displacement, s. Okay, that's what we're looking for. So remember to go backwards here. So to go backwards here, then we need to integrate. Okay, so we're going to integrate here. So in that case, if I want s, so I want s here, then I need to integrate v with respect to t. Okay, so s here is going to be equal to the integral of 2t minus 4. So 2t minus 4 with respect to t. Now the actual integration here should be hopefully nice and straightforward, just basic integration, add 1 to the power, divide by the new power. So what I'm going to get here for s is 2t squared over 2. That would give me t squared there. So we get t squared, and then this minus 4 here would become minus 4t there. Okay. Now we have to be slightly careful here. We can't just give this as our solution, because what we need to consider is our constant of integration. Because we're integrating, but we don't have any limit, so we need our constant of integration, so plus c. However, we have these boundary conditions here. Okay. So we're given that s equals to 0 when t is equal to 0. So what I can do then is substitute those values in. So s equal to 0. So 0 is going to be equal to 0 squared because t is equal to 0. So I get 0 squared minus 4 lots of 0 plus c. Okay. Which in this case will just give us c equals 0. Which in that case would just tell us then that s is just equal to the original expression that I put here. So s is equal to t squared minus 4t. Okay, but we do need to be careful with that. Do make sure that you substitute the boundary conditions in here because sometimes you might have that constant that needs to be added on or subtracted. Okay, but there we have it. So that's our expression there for displacement of the particle with this given velocity. To finish with here, let's take a look at one more question. So what we've got here is a particle that's moving in a straight line. We're given that v is equal to 2 when t is equal to 0 and rest to find an expression for the velocity of the particle with this given acceleration. So let's just make note of the fact that s, v, and a here. So if I've got the acceleration and I want the velocity, then we need to integrate. Okay, we're going backwards. So we integrate here. So I now need to integrate a here with respect to t. Okay, and that would give me the velocity. So in that case, if we integrate here, so v would be equal to the integral of 5 plus 3t squared with respect to t. Okay, so dt. Again, hopefully the integration here should be nice and straightforward. So in this case for v, I'm going to get 5t. I get 5t there. And then I'm going to get 3t cubed over 3. So that's going to give me plus t cubed. Okay. Now again, we're integrating here. We have no limits on the integral. So we need our constant of integration. So plus c there. But remember, we have boundary conditions here. We've given that v is equal to 2 
when t is equal to zero. So in that case, what I can do then is put v equals two in here. So two is equal. And then in that case, I'm gonna get five lots of zero plus zero cubed plus c. So these two parts here will be zero. So I'm gonna get that c is equal to two. Okay. And all I need to do now is replace my c here with the value we found for c. So therefore, in this case, the velocity of the particle with this given acceleration is equal to 5t plus t cubed plus 2 there. Remember, c is equal to 2, so plus 2, okay? And there we have it. That's our velocity there of the particle with this given acceleration. And that brings the end of this video on using integration. In the next video, we're going to take a look at exam revision for variable acceleration.